Hello, boys and girls, men and women of all ages, shapes, and sizes. I am Owen Adams, also known as British Gamer, and this is Tricky Bounds. This is an iPhone game. I'm playing it on an iPhone 5C. It is free to play. As you can see, we've got a couple of ads at the bottom, but uh, that's pretty standard. Let's see what we got here. Different characters to unlock there. It's worth knowing. Don't have any gems yet, because I haven't really played, so... Uh, select, there we go. Turn the sound on and off. Information, restore purchases, review, all these various options here, but basically we just got the uh, quite common for free-to-play games on the uh, App Store now. It just reduces it to a really simple game. Forgive me for that, I've got to go on to... Uh, had to put flight mode on there to uh, turn my text off. Tap to play. Alright, so we got character that bounces. There we go. I didn't tap anything just then, by the way. <laughs> so let's try that again. Now, tapping something... Ah, I see, it's a bit like... A little bit like that bouncy ball game we played. Tapping hits the bounce immediately. So what you've got to try and do is... Get through the course, controlling when... Your little blob there bounces down. Sometimes it's better to do nothing than something, so... Hang on a sec, we just got one of these game ads where you play the game. Let's just skip that. Weird kind of ad that. I kind of, um... Hang on a sec. There we go. No one's a big fan of ads, but I do think it's kind of an interesting development that when someone's playing a game, if you put an ad in the game that is actual gameplay... Oh, hello! That's something you can only really do in games, which is kind of cool. Alright. So we've played a few games like this before. This is one of the, uh, what they call frustration games, where the fundamental mechanic is essentially very, very tough and unforgiving. And the idea is that you... Ooh, you incrementally try to build up, build up a, a score over time, you know. First one was really Flappy Bird, because that was just insanely, insanely difficult, but very simple. We've seen a few different ones since. Played a lot on the channel, actually. This one's kind of interesting. I, We have had a couple before where you control a bounce. But this one... They've all been games where you... Oh... I wonder if I could have hit between those. They've all been games where you, you've you been trying to hit a platform you might miss. This mechanic of kind of... Trying to avoid obstacles in your bounce radius... Uh... Is kind of interesting. And that there's also stuff to collect. I think it's funny, what we're starting to see with the frustration games more and more is... They are moving beyond their essential core mechanics into more intricate types of game. But what they're doing right for mobile games is they're keeping the... Whoa! Thought we were going to die there. They're keeping the control scheme and the fundamental gameplay as basic as possible. You know, this is all running on single taps. It's all about timing. Um, but they're elaborating on it more, which is kind of interesting. So what's my high score? Oh, we're going to do these previous... Sorry, Arnold. I don't want to play Mobile Strike. Just gonna wait five seconds to skip. I don't know why I even DOS this game, Arnold. But it's very sad to me. Here we go. Ooh. I keep meaning to check my best score. I keep tapping away before I've properly looked at it. There we go. Ooh, thought we'd get through there. Five? Okay. We can do that. We can beat five. Okay, so I can hit the underside of those, I'm guessing, if you can squeak in there. Which is a bit tough. Ooh, okay, if I hadn't tapped that, I might have cleared that. Damn it. I'm 
I'm building up the gems, though. Might be able to buy myself a new character. That's another trend I've noticed in these, though. Unlockable characters, but they're, bra they're broadly speaking, superficial changes, you know, so they... They don't introduce unlockable characters that alter the gameplay so much, as they... They're just like an aesthetic thing. And so, if you kind of love the game, and you want the aesthetic changes, the, de the developer can make a little bit of money off that, but if you just want to play it in the basic sense, you can. Oh, I was going to try being really aggressive on the bounces there. But that's what I mean about how they're kind of unforgiving. You have to be... have to be perfect. This is definitely one of the better ones I've played. Though... Um, I'm not just tapping along because I've got time to fill on a video. I I want to get a little bit further. The mechanic of trying to squeeze through those gears is compelling. Ooh. Except when you do that and you just don't do anything. I think it's because there's always the very close calls. You're like, if I'd just done that, I could have done that. Of course, when they're procedurally generated like this, you, um... Oh, we got another of these. This is a totally different game. Skip. You probably won't get the same situation next time. Aha! Ooh! Thought we were gonna squeeze through there. So how are you today? Are you enjoying watching me destroy my little blob there? I'm having a nice morning. The window is open, the cat is exploring. I'm getting repeatedly killed by gears. I'm trying to let the cat out a lot today since she ruined the live stream yesterday. But she didn't ruin it. She intruded upon the end quite insistently. Alright. Aha! Ooh! I was never going to get past that. Once I'd got there, once I'd got to that point, there was no way to squeak through there. That I could have done better on, though. <laughs> yeah, this one just looks like exactly the same game as the previous one. Alright. Forward. Oh, if I just waited a little bit later on that one. I think my high score is still 5. I can beat that. Okay, so when does your score go up? It seems to be measured by distance. Rather than anything else. Let's try this again. Pro. At least you seem to get gems when you hit those things. That's making accumulating gems a little bit easier than I was expecting. Ha ah, I'm not even doing anything there. Oh, I'm sorry, little blue. I wanted to save you. Go, blue guy! Gonna be a close one. My best is still five. I want to get six before we go. Come on, we can do six. Six has got to be feasible. Uh, you didn't see that. It was fine. I made it. <laughs> I am pro. I got it good. I don't have to tap when I'm at the lowest extent of a bounce. So I could sometimes save myself some from some of these high up issues by squeezing in another bounce. That didn't occur to me. 
If I'd waited that, that would have cleared me over the other side. I could bounce like hell through these. Presumably if you always knew when to hit the bounce button. No. Brings you down very fast though, so there's only so much you can do. Come on. I'm gonna go for one more of these. Oh, I was trying to bring that down before that little one. We hit six though. We did it, guys. We hit six. Isn't that a beautiful way to do it? Alright, I think I will probably wrap up there. My name is Owen Adams, also known as British Gamer. I hope you have enjoyed watching Tricky Bounce. I'll put a link in the video below so you can see if you can beat my grand score of six. And uh, it is also on Android, I believe. And I will see you later. Thank you very much for watching. Please do a like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!